New at 6, where is the money? Channel 2 investigates a homeowner's claim that their bank is withholding hundreds of thousands of dollars that they need to help rebuild after Harvey. Investigator Mario Diaz is on the case. He joins us live now from Kingwood. Mario. Keith, take a look at this site right here. This is one that we saw for weeks after Harvey all around the city, but we haven't seen that for quite some time. Come up here to Kingwood, and it is quite prevalent. You'll see it in strip malls. You'll see it in people's yards. You'll even see drywall still on people's front sidewalks. For one man, he's been able to get all the debris out of his house. He even has been able to secure the money needed to rebuild his home. The one thing is he just can't get it from the bank. Ed Cahill strolls through what is a shell of where he once produced memories. Christmas tree in that corner. His 16-year-old home in Kingwood was ravaged by the floodwaters of Harvey. This wasn't veneer, so it didn't fall apart. While the 71-year-old only has a few keepsakes left, Cahill does have plenty to show for what he says Chase Bank is doing. They're holding $200,000 of our insurance money. Cahill says the money is from the National Flood Insurance Program. It was placed into an escrow account. He also adds funds would be released if certain requirements were met. They know that we've paid contractors X amount of dollars from our account for work done. Cahill claims he has invested nearly $145,000 of his own money. I have every canceled check and his presented that to them. And although he paid off the home 10 years ago, he believes the funds are not being released because of another loan. Our home equity loan is for about $93,000. While Kale tries to build his life back from disorder by using his savings and complying with bank required inspections, Cahill says he cannot understand how Chase does not have their own house in order, citing an, an inspection report done only nine days ago that cannot be located. They tell me that they don't know. They haven't been able to find that inspection report. And that is just one of the challenges that he says that he has had to endure here uh, since Harvey. Now, what's interesting, he also went on to add that he has heard of other customers who have been put in the same type of situation where they are able to get all the debris out of their business or their home. They're just not able to secure the money to rebuild once again from the bank. Now, we did reach out to Chase this afternoon two times. They did not get back to us. Reporting live from Kingwood, Mario Diaz, KPRC, Channel 2 News.